that concludes the presentation, and this is now the opportunity for us to hear from you. So um, please, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, any statements that you'd like to make, please come forward and, and deliver them, and we'll uh, note your comments. We'll take them down. It has been videotaped, as I said earlier, um, and to the extent that we can, we'll answer your questions here now. Um, to the extent that we can't, we don't have the answers for you, we'll take them down, and we will provide you with the answers to your questions. So please. Um, feel free to, sir. Uh, and the best I remember, one of the previous image plans that they had, uh, part of the planning was to uh, expand north of Airport Boulevard where the Crescent, I think Crescent Square Apartments are now. And I take it that's been taken off the table. So we're going to move, I think, employee parking we're, or something like that. We're not expanding at all outside of our boundaries, except for those few parcels that Max mentioned at the end of the runways that we will be purchasing around 2020 time frame when the runway comes about. But no, we the previous master plan had us moving, um, relocating in Monroe. Actually, Max was in charge of that master plan too. Relocating Monroe and expanding a great deal outside of our boundaries. Yeah. And our current master plan, we are um, doing pretty much working inside of our current boundaries. One reason for that is that um, using current technology, we can do a lot inside of our current boundaries. Uh, I'll give you give an example for you. Um, Southwest's largest hub, which is Chicago Midway, they have twice the traffic in the, but the airport is about two thirds smaller than Hobby. So Hobby is relative to some airports in the country, a large airport, um, and we have a lot of room to grow. So the, the basic concepts and everything about the ceremonial boulevard <laughs> components have pretty much been ditched as far as Broadway. That's not going to happen. Where we we're going to build a new garage, split the garages. Yeah. No, we're not going to happen. Part of that is cost. It's extremely costly to do that. Okay. Um, you, you brought up. You were talking about on Broadway. This the is you were yeah. One of the other things that changed there was um, that there was plans for a, a, a metro a bus. Tra I may use the term wrong. Now, transfer station, I believe, right there transit in the north center. transit center uh, on the northwest corner of that intersection. And, um, and there was going to be some development coordinated with that um, from HAS, but yeah, that, both of those uh, uh, aren't in the master plan horizon at this point. One, and, and actually, Max mentions the Metro. We also have been in coordination with the Metro as part of this master plan. They have a long range plan, they have no money, but they have a long range plan to bring the Metro down, uh, to, down Airport Boulevard from the uh, west to the east. We have provisions in our plan to for a station location. The station would be located in the median of Airport Boulevard, so we would have to remove some of the flowers we would put in. <laughs> but but currently they have no funding for that, and we're not sure when that's going to happen. Yes, sir. With regards to the round car facility and the spot for what's the expected timeline that you would see that going into the plan? Actually, uh, so so. Okay, it's more. Well, what, what we would do, what, um, that, that involves first discussions with the rental car industry. Um, the, the need for it, um, the, the desire for it, um, and then we would sit down, we would uh, have to negotiate um, a new agreement um, that would spell out how it would be paid for, how it's going to be financed, how it's going, who's going to maintain operating costs. Uh, the sizing of it, all of the planning, the detailed planning of, of many of these uh, items that you see here has not been done. This is master planning. Once you have the master plan, then you get down into detail planning. Um, to this point, uh, I've not received any uh, a firm interest uh, expressed by the rental car companies. Uh, once they do, we will certainly engage with them and we'll sit down and we'll uh, begin those discussions. Uh, my sense is that if we were to start, uh, let's say, next year talking about it, um, we probably wouldn't see this finished for another three to five years. So right now you're waiting on the industry to engage. Yes. In yes. Okay. Sir? Uh, going back to the uh, slide that you had where you had the schematic of the intersection of uh, Glencrest and Airport Boulevard, will that be a controlled intersection with the yes. Yes. What would be the timing on that? Once a while, Yeah. Yeah, we, we, actually, we actually had a, a conversation with Public Works yesterday with uh, Dan Kruger, who's the director of Public Works. He's trying to get that program into his um, capital improvement program. 
and, 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 and he would also like an opportunity to study this a little bit more. Uh, one of the, the concerns is the signalization, um, and they would like to study. Um, we'll give them the data that we have and the modeling that we've done, of course. But he and his uh, engineers would also like to study it a little bit further um, to determine whether, in fact, you really do need signalization there. Um, and then once that's done um, and we have the final uh, solution to that point, then it'll be rolled into the capital improvement program for public works. So that decision hasn't been made yet, whether or not that's, that's correct. It's a master plan recommendation it's, that we it, passed on to public works. Right. It's a recommendation only at this point. Anyone else? Ma'am? Uh, Maxie, do you remember <coughs> the, the, the international no, no, no. terminal? Yeah. The international yeah, terminal has become reality. Yeah. Well, that wasn't part of the 2003 master plan or the image plan. No, I think you're, you're specifically referring to the recommendations in that those image related ones. In, in 2003, yeah. there was a master plan mm -hmm. and the image plan that was with right. And prior to that being formulated, I had a question. Mm -hmm. You know, how much of that, there's a lot of time in the time. Yeah, we took the pie in the sky out. <laughs> this, this is, this is real. Right. So, um, so let me let me attempt to address it in a little bit. So, a lot of the stuff that was off airport, as has been said, this image plan, um, I would dare say, not a lot of it got done. When we got come on airport. Uh, you remember that one of the points that was made during the discussion about whether hobby should go international or not was that we did have in 2003 the international terminal. It was it was on that master plan. That's now become reality. Um, the parking garage, not in the same location, but it's become reality. The roadways have become reality. Um, that's primarily it. The 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 airfield. I don't. Not much of the airfield has been put in place. There have been a number of the fixed-based operations that we've said some of those have gone in place. Um, but what we tried to do in this master plan, and I told the master planning team, is I wanted solid, practical, uh, and only the, the minimum that we would need to provide for capacity growth. And then with that is how can we soften the, the, the view and, and, and the presence of the airport in the community. And that's why we have come forward today with these practical sets, limited set of recommendations um, as needed, understanding that there are some improvements that need to be done off airport. We are coordinating with Metro. We are coordinating that with Public Works. And then looking to... Yes. Because we're here almost, you know, we're here every day. Yes. This is very important to us. Okay. Well, um, we will be working with a number of organizations going forward, uh, especially when we start doing the uh, beautification along uh, uh, Airport Boulevard. Uh, we will be working with the local organizations uh, about that. We'll, our, our landscape architect will be working to. This is, by the way, that's a recommended palette of, of uh, flowers and colors. Um, it can change, but it's just to give, to give you some idea of what we can do. I have one more question. Sure. What's going to happen to our fire station 36 with all of this? Are we going to get a new fire station? What's going to happen? Where is fire station 36? Is it taken You're talking about the one that's just on the airport? Yeah, we, we did coordinate with them, and, and we actually thought, hey, might this be an opportunity if you guys wanted, uh, if there was a plan for relocation or upgrade of that facility to be integrated into this master planning process, and the, the feedback we got from them was there was no plan or intent to move, and the development that you see pictured actually does not interfere, does allow that to stay as is and stay in its current, in its current so location. Have this old building right <laughs> That, that, that fire station actually is technically not an airport fire station, the way it's funded. And so we cannot pay for it. It's a diversion of fund by a federal law. You, you've got a very eloquent presentation. <laughs> 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 and, 
and, and if I can just add one thing, I mean, I appreciate very much your, your comment about the previous image plan, and, and I think one thing that's very important to note, we, the reason that you saw it even re, represented, at least referenced here, is that the elements of that, those, the, the framework that is presented in that, does not have to be dead. Um, any improvement that happens along Broadway, even though HAS can't themselves fund it, any, any projects that do develop or redevelop those areas through these incentives that, um, that I'd love you to talk to Patty about, you know, or that the management district around Hobby can really get their shoulders behind and push on, those things can still very much be front and center of any development. It's just that HAS they themselves can't run out there and do it. And so your voice is, is, is very powerful in those kinds of things. And, and um, so I, I certainly would, would urge that. To, to be remembered from within the image plan. There, there are two other, just so that you know, and these we're studying. We're, we're not, at this point, prepared to commit to them. But for example, one of the other projects that we're looking at is, as you stand in front of the airport, and as you look at the front, the, the, we can, we're going to do the airport boulevard, of course. But then beyond airport boulevard, as you look at the, at, at the, uh, at the long extension of, of the airport, you notice this, and especially on the eastern side and western side, once you leave the terminal area, this uh, chain link fence. And that, again, provides this kind of industrial look. We're studying the possibility of taking that chain link fence down and replacing it with, with some kind of a metal picket fence so that it looks more um, inviting uh, and, and not so much of an industrial hard look. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, uh, but I think we can do a little bit better than, than the, even the plastic. And then um, we're going to be working with Center Point Energy um, about possibly um, some LED high mass lighting along Airport Boulevard and to work with, with Center Point to see if we can get some so that um, it would be brighter um, at night. And that, of course, would um, help to um, improve the safety um, and the comfort level of citizens that might be wanting to walk up and down. And certainly as development starts taking place along Airport Boulevard, and it will, believe me, it will start very soon, um, you, you will have a more open, inviting uh, atmosphere. Thank you. Sir? Uh, I got here late. You may have covered this. I don't know. But uh, I'm one of the few people that walks to the airport. Is there any thought being given to uh, improving pedestrian access? Pedestrian? Yeah. Uh, along, along what specific route? Broadway and airport, right at the terminal. It's public works. It's, it's difficult to walk there. All right. We'll, we'll take that and we'll pass that along to the public yeah, works. Yeah, we, we can approve on the airport yeah. side and we'll, we'll look at that on the airport side of the street. But on the other side of Airport Boulevard, mm -hmm. that's out of our jurisdiction. That's public but but, but we're we would. We, just getting from the street, you have to walk through the parking garage. And oh, okay, okay, okay. There should be some way to get into the yeah. parking Yeah, yeah, and we actually we actually have been studying that. If in part because of the metro, distant metro project, a way to get through the masses of garage. And so we are looking at that to try to figure out a way to kind of pass through the garages more more easily, but especially since we're going to have to build another garage just to the just to the west, so it'll be even a bigger expanse of garage wall to get through. So that is something we are we are studying right now. Ma'am, excuse me. Before you do, uh, our subdivision is Guthrie Way Oaks, and all of our streets enter Monroe. I'm concerned about y'all's property there at the corner of Airport and Monroe, and y'all. Of course, our addition, y'all back up to us. I'm, we're concerned about flooding. We're concerned about noise or what you're going to build there. Well, on the corner of Monroe and Airport Boulevard, right now we have no plans to build anything there. Okay. No. Got, and the flooding. I got the noise. I mean, the noise now is. Well, again, the noise, we've shown the noise contours, and as you can see, um, actually the, we're, we're forecasting the improvement in the, in the noise footprint that the airport generates for two reasons. Again, the reduction in the level of operations, but also um, these new aircraft, uh, the 737, 800, 900 series, and then the 737 MAX with um, engines that are much, much what we're called high-bypass turbofan engines 
that uh, really produce a, a, a significantly less noise footprint than um, the, the engines that are in, are in use today, and certainly those engines that were in, in use 10, 15, 20 years ago. And, and speaking to the flooding, um, we developed a um, drainage master plan several years ago, but it won't work unless Harris County Flood Control widens their ditches, and they have no plan and no funding to do that. So we can do everything on the airport, but until the ditches that we dump into get widened, it doesn't work. Well, we, we, as I said, we're going to repeat this meeting in about 30 days to give those individuals who unfortunately weren't able to be here um, an opportunity to, again, listen to this presentation and provide additional input. Because in the past, we've always been able to have several meetings well, at, at the, 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 this, this presentation, we, we are certainly open to have meetings at any time um, with any group that wants to have a, any community group that wants to have a meeting with us, we're always open to do that. Sir? Sorry. No. Just, just one new additional runway. Well, it's not additional. It's shifting. It's, it's not even an additional runway. Uh, so let's run through this for you. Um, today, is this? Today, this runway here um, is is from about here to oh about there. It's a very short runway, but it's there. It's southeast to northwest. Okay, the one I'm concerned about is the north, the northwest of the southeast. This one, uh, 422. That is the one that gets. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not touching it. We're not making any changes to it. No, no changes, none well, at all. I, I thought I did see what you showed a couple of. No, no, what we're doing is this runway, which is north south. We're taking it out. We're going to take it out. Okay, but I also thought I saw in red line uh, two that were crossing the yellow line coming towards the. <laughs> Now this this is it. That that's all we're doing on the airfield. Okay, so with this, you're saying that with international traffic, there's a more a larger planes coming, in, right? No, no, no same, same size, size aircraft. Same size aircraft. Yes. And the number of flights is going to increase. We will be increasing the operations from. Actually, uh, let me just go back so we can revisit that. Um, as you can see. Um, the operations actually have dropped from about 250,000 down to about 200,000, and then over the forecast period out to 2030, um, operations will um, increase just above the 250,000. And, and as, uh, I think this is a really important point to note here, that of the 268,000 uh, operations, 269,000 operations, 104 of those are general aviation. The commercial... Um, basically um, will grow to, what is that, um, 160, 165 from uh, 109 today. My question generally is, uh, what will be done about the increased traffic uh, coming in in the summertime? Because the wintertime is not, uh, it's still a problem, but you use the other runway. In the, in the springtime, you use the northwest or southwest one, and that affects a lot of people in the community of here. And I was concerned about the noise levels, if there's going to be increased noise, more planes, more noise. Not only that, but the frequency, but the timing of these flights coming in. Uh, are we going to stay within the same time frame that we have? Yes. Because there's some that are coming in as early as 5 or 5.15 in the morning. And that is a nuisance. And it's disruptive, it's disruptive to the neighborhood. So what's being considered along those lines as far as uh, pollution, because with, when you come in out of what's the uh, point at which you release fuel, or do you release fuel from these planes as they're coming in? No, you don't release no, fuel from the there's no, there's, no there's no aircraft, there's no fuel release from the aircraft. The noise and the exhaust. So, 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 so let's go. I know they're cleaner and supposedly quieter. Yes. But they're quieter relative to what? what is the here you are. They're, they're, here, 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 look, here it is. 
look, um, here, look, look at these drawings. This is what we have today. That's the footprint. Uh, are we, this is 2000. This is 2011. And as you can see, 2020, 2030. So basically, the noise footprint. Yes. Well, so so let's go over it. So uh, if let's go through this the color scheme so that you can understand this. Do we, no, it's, I guess it's India. Uh, while he's looking for that relative, and we're going to bring up our noise expert. You asked relative to what? In 2000, there were still louder aircraft such as a 730. Yes, yeah, no. so we'll, we'll get to here. Yeah, I'm going to show you the decibels here. Here they are. So here's the here's the diagram. So what did, what do these colors mean? 65. So the light blue is 65. The the medium blue is um, 70, and then the dark blue is 75. Once you get out beyond the light blue, it's 50 or less. 60 or less. Thank you. Anyone else? Sir? I just, I just have a comment that uh, the thing that has to do with the gentleman over here was getting at is that you got all these pretty pictures, you're going to have a nice looking airport, it's going to be bigger, we're going to be bringing more people in. But you're, you're, you're putting everything back out into the community. Like you said, you do take care of your water, but you're putting it on us. You're, you're, you're bringing in more airplanes, we're going to have more noise. I've been out here for, living out in this area for about five years now. And its noise level hasn't gone down, it's increased. That, that's just my experience. Um, the other thing is, is the traffic. You've got your traffic taken care of around the airport, but it, guess what? It's coming through our neighborhoods. So, uh, you know, the thing of, well, we can't go across the, across the fence, uh, that, that's kind of a weak. I don't, I don't know where you interface with the city just, on that, just, but... There needs to be more done than that. We hear you. We note it. Thank you. Yes? I know this is outside the airport boundaries, but can we make recommendations to improve Monroe and Telephone Road? They're not just flowers, but, uh, you know, reconstruct the roadways as part of this. So I believe that Broadway, there's a plan to reconstruct right. Broadway. That's that's on, on the CIP. We will pass on to Public Works the interest in, and and we we were sitting yesterday with the director of public works believe me he too is is focused on monroe um and and um and, and is looking to put monroe as well in some future cip to redo monroe as well That's seven, years now. Okay. anyone else sir on the earlier graph of showing the extension of the run uh -huh. I'll, I'll put it back up. Is there an area that shows where you might be taking? Yes. Maybe what? The, the home to. The oh, yes. Home to, hmm? I thought that there was. A uh, I, it's right here. Well, I can go back to that exhibit. So it's. Um, In the last master plan, there was a vision taking everything between West and Raw and the Raw all the way up. So here. Here. I assume that's not the case. No. no. There, there was no property going to be taken on the so more, let more me, side. So let's start with the what we're going to do. So remember that the plan is um, for for the needs of the airfield is we're going to take this very short runway here and we're going to extend it to a full length runway. In order to do that, you then get to the point where you have to create what are called these RPZs, runway protection zones, and that's an area where you can have congregation or massing of of uh, people. Um, whether they're in homes or anything else. And so, um, as a consequence, these parcels here would be recommended to be taken, purchased, and on the south end, southeast side of that runway, these parcels here. The ones in gray. Yes. And so the total would be um, six residential parcels, 29 commercial parcels, 15 undeveloped parcels, two institutions, which, we, we, if I remember right, our churches. So total 72 acres or 52 parcels. Okay. And I, I must have got the time wrong. I just arrived. Oh, that's right. 
Timothy, you may have already told me this, but um, what is the time horizon on those takings? So, uh, the, as has been said, um, the need for this runway, as, as we take a look at the operations and passenger growth, and remember, all of this is, um, is triggered by actual growth. Yeah. If, if the growth doesn't take place, we don't do any of this. Um, in the 2023, I think it is, 2023-2024 time frame, one of the things you also should understand is that uh, before we can do this, um, any time that you attempt on an airport to change a runway, a major element, airfield element, it does require an environmental impact statement. And that's really the long tent in the pole here. It's a process that we would have to go through a full um, environmental impact statement that we would, we would uh, go through. It would require uh, significant community input. Um, it would require a, a lot more modeling all of the concerns that have been raised about water, about um, noise, about um, all of these things would have to be modeled and um, you'd have to do alternative analysis and then um, all of this would be presented to the Federal Aviation Administration uh, for them to either accept, reject, or give back and say do something else. Um, but hopefully um, that would, uh, following that process, we would then proceed with this. So we're really talking about many, many years out. Um, and um, to, to, to do that and to start that, so we're in 2014, I would imagine maybe another five, six years before we'd even start thinking about buying property. Okay. So you're, you're 2023, just so I understand, is that a date for commencement of construction, completion, based on your uh, uh, Today, I, I guess it would be um, to have the, the uh, runway operational. So you'd be but, acquiring several years before? Yes, about several years before, okay. right. I, as I say, five, six years from now, we'd, we'd start acquiring the property. Yes. Ma'am? So, will the international flights start on the north-south runway? They will, they will operate like any other um, domestic uh, flight, whatever uh, the weather conditions are, what, what the prevailing winds uh, in direction and strength, um, if they're using the uh, uh, 422s, the internationals would do that if they're using the uh, 1230s, uh, the internationals, or the 1735s, the internationals would do that. It's up to the air traffic controllers. It's up to air traffic controllers. I mean, you don't need the longer runway. Well, there are no longer runways. That's just a parallel runway. Um, so this runway exists today. So if, if the runway uh, today, if they were taking off to the southeast, they would use uh, 12 runway 12 in this direction. If they were taken off to the north, it would be runway 30 in this direction. This runway here is a recommendation for two reasons. Number one is, has been said, you've got some problems here that the FAA has concerns about safety. That is, uh, of a pilot, and some of you may remember, what was it, Cincinnati, no, not Cincinnati, Covington down in Kentucky, where the, the pilots actually took off on the wrong runway, and they didn't make it. Um, and so there's concern about conflicts here, that's number one, um, so that this runway really ought to come down. We ought to decommission it. But you can't decommission this runway without building this runway for the reason that what we call the Iron Cross here, if any, any work needs to be done here and you don't have this runway or you don't have this runway, the airport shuts down. There's just no way to conduct operations. So right now they are building the new west terminal. Yes, um, what, right here. What else is in the works? Or, because you said sure. some of this is based on yep. let's, that you're able to do it. Mm -hmm. Let, let's go through that. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll put up the, the plan today and we'll show you. Here's so a, Here's the 2015 slide. Where is that? Oh, here it is, yes. So this, this is what we're doing today. Okay. And that is? We're going to build the international terminal with the five gates. We're going to put in the parking garage, the roadways, and the satellite utility plant. That's, that's a, that is a done deal. That's, that's it. That's, that's right. Yes. That's correct. 